Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool product, and that is how to make a transforming product that goes from a powder to a cream. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we start off with a powder product. We apply it as a powder, and then as you rub it in, it turns into a cream. So now, let me show you how it's done. To make this kind of a special product, the method and materials are absolutely crucial. So I'm going to start by grinding my colorants first. These need to be really finely ground before we start putting the product together. So you start with this very finely milled powder mixture. Now this is really important because we need to add this to the formulation uh, and then we need to blend it all together so that it holds as the powder, the colorant that you see. So number one, very important, must be really finely ground. Now, this material here is silica dimethyl silylate. This is actually going to help us form that powder structure. And when rubbed into the skin, it will break easily to show the contents of the product. But we're also going to add a few liquid materials to this so that it will turn into that beautiful cream texture you saw. Now contact us for the formula and the method. Very happy to provide it to you absolutely free. The ingredients I'm using and the method I'm using is absolutely crucial to getting this product right. So I am also using uh, a very fast blender in the lab size. When you scale up, you need to use what is called a PK blender. And the PK blender will replicate the type of shear that is going through this product to create it. Now, if we mix it too little, it won't form that beautiful, fine powder. If we mix it too much, it will form a cream in the container. So we need to mix it just right to get this beautiful powder to cream product. Now another very important step, we need to mix this for 10 to 15 seconds, absolutely maximum, to get it just right. And you'll see you create this lovely powder that when applied, turns to a cream. Now there's a couple of really important parts to this formula. Number one is the formula itself. I get asked a lot, can I use this material in place of this material with various formulations? And for this particular product type, no, you really need to use some of the key materials I've introduced you to here and use similar proportions or ratios that you see me using in this formula. Otherwise it just doesn't work. The other thing is to make sure that the powders are finely ground before you start and then keep that mixing time extremely short. You can always mix a little longer if it's not combined, but once you turn it into a cream in the vessel, it's too late. You can't go back to a powder. Now, when you scale up, you do need to scale up carefully. Again, keep the mixing times short and you won't have a problem. It's over mixing that is a problem for this product. So make sure that doesn't happen. And of course you can color match or change colors. You can make blushes, you can make lip products. All sorts of color creations can be made using the same ratios of materials that I've used in this video. Again, please contact us for full details of the formula, the method and supplier details so we can provide those details to you. And I've also included the ratios to use in case you want to use some other color variants to the BB cream product I've created here. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments below and remember to subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.